All right, so one of the main issues with um, the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller is definitely the snapback, which if you don't know, is basically when you flick the stick to one direction, it'll like, snap back in the other. So if you see in the menu here, every time I snap the stick left, it doesn't, and then re and it let go of it, it like doesn't go completely back to neutral. It kind of like lingers here for a bit before coming back to neutral. This is what's known as snapback, and so this is a really big issue with pro controllers because so if we were to go to training mode and I try to do um jumping neutral bees of young link who definitely relies on that in his neutral, then you can see that I'm just doing jumping neutral bees while going forward, and as you can see, young link is doing like half of them are like do or like B reverse arrows, which is definitely something that you don't want. And this makes playing a character that relies on jumping YouTube bees like Young Link, Pikachu, Mario, this makes them basically like unplayable because like more than half of your um if your neutral bees will go the other way. And I've made I've done some tests of this, which I'll put at the end of this video. So this is definitely an issue that I had for a while with the Pro Controller, and I never really knew how to fix it. But I have a solution, and that is to use this device here which is the 8 bit though adapter 2 which if I go ahead here and um, switch my scenes desktop which is this device the 8 bit control 8 bit though wireless USB adapter 2 which its original intended purpose is for you to be able to use a PlayStation or Xbox controller on the switch so if you want to do that to play smash with then you can do that with this device as well but what makes it really good is that it has a software to put a dead zone on your controller which if you don't know what dead zone is is basically you make like certain inner parts of the stick basically inactive and this will reduce not completely get rid of but it will it should reduce snapback in your pro controller so i'll go ahead and tell you how to set that up so once you so i'll link this amazon page in the description you can check it out there and buy it there so once you have the 8-bit though adapter 2 you're going to go ahead and go to the um, 8 bit though site, 8 bit though, and um, make sure I'm still recording. All right, go 8 bit though, and then you're going to go to support and then look for the. And um, by the way, this can work also. This is on sale right now, but for whatever reason you're watching this video, it's not on sale. You can buy the adapter one. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, but just for this video, because I have the but it's an adapter too. I'm going to use that as an example for this video. So you're going to go down to um, 8 bit those website, click on support, scroll down to where it says 8 bit those adapters. So you're going to find whichever adapter you have. For me, it's a 2. And you're going to go to the firmware updater. And then you're going to download the um, uh, firmware for the 8 bit though. And then once you have the zip file, you're gonna open the zip file and um, hopefully you know how to extract the zip file. If you don't, you can Google it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and extract it to a folder on my desktop, which I've named 8 bit those stuff. And so now you'll have this this folder now, 8 bit though firmware updater. You're gonna go ahead and click it, open the firmware updater. It says connect the 8 bit though device to your PC via USB. So I'll go ahead and Hopefully the camera's catching this because I can't tell. I'm plugging it into my computer. And then now you're gonna click on firmware update. Blah 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 blah. You will update this is the base version. I think the adapter one still has like updates on it, but anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and update. And I'll wait for it. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Alright, please don't take too long, so I'll have to cut this video out. Updating, updating, updating. And success. You've successfully updated the firmware adapter. You've successfully updated the adapter, so shouldn't have any issues. So now I'm going to go back. And now you're going to go back after you updated the firmware for the adapter. You're going to go back to click on support again. You're going to click on Ultimate Software. This is the software we're going to use to customize our sticks and stuff. 
and you're going to click on um, the USB adapter. I have the two. If you have the one, you click on the one. And then now if you're going to go ahead and download it. Do the same thing. Extract it to, I recommend the same place. OK. And then now, now you have the ultimate to ultimate software. You're going to open that. So connect USB device to your PC. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect my um, disconnect my Pro Controller from my Switch by pressing the top button. And then now I'm going to you're going to go ahead press the button on the back of the Apple adapter to put in pairing mode. You should see it should be repeatedly flashing. I'm going to hold down the um controller and once you feel it connects you should feel it vibrate and so now that the controller is connected you can see now that we have all these options here so on this software you can um, map buttons to you can change the like, custom button mapping stuff like that uh, you can put macros obviously this is not allowed in tournaments don't do this <laughs> it's cheating and then so the important thing here though is that we're going to go to sticks and with the sticks um, what we can do in sticks is that we can adjust the dead zone for these sticks so as you can see here I have my dead zone set so like the pre a pretty big inner part of the stick is like inactive but if so like if I were to move it slightly here 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 there will be no input registered and this is good because if I move the stick left to right if it does snap back slightly, like here, it doesn't register any input. So my viewer, my neutral B should come out the right way. So I basically killed like the first, I killed the first like 40% of the stick here. And as you can see, there's not really any snapback. However, there is some, as you can see, if it, go, it goes back sometimes. So it only really reduces the snapback, doesn't completely get rid of it. If you want to reduce some more, you can definitely just use this slider here. You can adjust if you want more or less, and you can see here how much it is. The more you put it, the less snapback you should theoretically have, but then if you put it too much, then your stick might just feel weird because you won't be able to walk or like micro space move and stuff. So I say like about here is okay, like 40% like of the stick. And so once you set that, you're going to sync it to the adapter. And it'll tell you this, it'll explain to you that, um, to activate this profile because how it works is basically when you plug it into the switch you have like the default settings of the controller and then if you want to put on this profile this new settings you have to click in both sticks so um, L3 R3 click it in once you feel the profile activate you should feel the controller vibrate and this blue light should show up and so yeah so that's that's all we do on the PC here and so if you go ahead now and um, I'm gonna switch back to the my switch scene. That's not that. All right. So now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna unplug my adapter from the my PC. I'm gonna go ahead and put it inside my switch now. And so now. So now um, it should be paired now to my, because I paired the adapter to my controller earlier. If it doesn't, you just do what you seemed earlier. You just press the button on the adapter and then pull down the button on your Switch Pro Controller and it should connect. So now I, it's just, I can move it and stuff. Um, make sure that um, under your system settings you have um, Pro controller wired communication turned on. Um, if you don't, then just reconnect your Pro controller back to your Switch the normal way, or just put a use your Joy-Con or something to turn this on. The setting needs to be on for the adapter to work on your Switch. So once you have that, once your controller is connected to your um, Switch via the 8 bit adapter, you're gonna go ahead. You're gonna don't forget to click in click in both thumbsticks let me get a better angle of my camera yeah 
Don't forget to click in both thumbsticks to activate the profile. You should feel it vibrate. You should feel your controller vibrate twice. So go ahead and click it in. There you go. I felt my controller vibrate twice. The blue circle is on. And as you can see now, every time I do a jumping neutral beat, it barely be reverses. Like maybe it'll do like once out every like 50 times. But as you can see now, it's a lot more consistent. And as you can see in my controller cam, I'm doing it basically the same way. Oh, sorry, my camera's so small, I can't get my whole controller in. OBS, I'm so, I still kind of suck at OBS, but see. So as I'm, see, now that I'm moving around and doing, so there, there was one snap back there, but as you can see, it's a lot rarer. And like I said, you can increase the dead zone if you want, like, less, if you want to reduce it even further. It's just that you would um have to sacrifice, like, the feeling of your stick. Alright, so that's basically it. Um, I just wanted to make this tutorial because most solutions on Reddit that involve um, that involve fixing snapback basically just comes down to like opening a controller and soldering it, a capacitor mod, and let's be honest, most Smash players don't even know how a computer works or how to download an emulator so for better online, so that's not really realistic for most Smash that's not really a realistic option for most Smash players, so yeah, hope this video helps. Um, I'm gonna edit here. I'll put the my data footage at the end. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll put all the links you need in the description. Oh, another um thing I forgot to mention is that another benefit of this adapt using the, with using this adapter to connect your Pro Controller instead of connecting it normally is that when you actually unplug the adapter from your Switch, just say you're like a tournament or something, when you actually unplug it after your set or whatever. You unplug it. It actually properly disconnects your controller. It doesn't like stay um connect. So see like, cause it was cause it's connected to the adapter, not the switch itself. So see if I try pressing like A or something or whatever button, it doesn't reconnect back to the switch. So you won't have you won't have any of those pro controller moments where you like reconnect and ruin sets. Uh, and all right, that's all I can think of. Anything else I'll type out. Just ask me if you have any questions. And yeah.